O brasileiro é criativo. Às vezes, na rede social, eles postam as ideias, coisas que podem ser até o imaginário. Então, eles colocam, chama a NASA. E a NASA chegou. Estamos em São Francisco de Itabapuana, onde o engenheiro da NASA veio visitar o município e fazer palestra para os estudantes da rede municipal. Tell me your name, your last name, and your title. Yeah, sure. My name is Gabe Gabriel. Uh, right now I'm a public speaker. I used to be an engineer for NASA at Kennedy Space Center. Tell them a bit about yourself. So I'm from Florida, uh, by the beach. I love the beaches and I come to Brazil to speak with the kids. Uh, my, my favorite thing with talking with the kids is to talk about the space program, but I really like to talk about having hope, having dreams and goals, and achieving their life in a fun way. Why you came to San Francisco to Tabapuena, Brazil? Uh, I was asked to come here. I, every plant time I'm asked, Marcelo asked me to come. I go anywhere I'm asked. Have you come have been in Brazil many times? I've been to Brazil 24 times. Wow. So uh, probably 100 cities. Okay. Tell about your experience with the students. Uh, tell me about the NASA. So, with the kids in Brazil, I think the biggest challenge for the kids in Brazil, more than any country, I've been to 15 countries around the world, more than any country I've been to, the kids in Brazil have a fascination with astronomy and astrology and astrophysics. I've never seen anything like it, but the opportunities are very, very few. So most of them struggle. They want to learn, but they don't have the opportunity. And for most of them, it's worse. The parents don't support them. Most of the parents want to be doctors or lawyers, so they fight with them. They don't want them to study space. They don't want them to study astronomy. It's very, very hard for the kids in Brazil. When you do your, your presentation, what do you tell the kids about NASA and what about space? I always talk about how much fun it is to be at NASA, about the magic of seeing ships going to the different planets, of the fun environment where every day something new is happening. Every day you see something really, really exciting. Everywhere you look, there's pictures on the walls of stars, of space. So your mind is always racing somewhere. But I really talk to the kids about dreams and goals and enjoying life. This is my most important thing to the kids. What's your incentive for the kids that are interested in space? It's not so much in space, but in life. If they want to go to space, I, I encourage them to do that. But generally, they should be positive in life. It doesn't matter what they do. It only matters they enjoy what they do and they feel good about themselves. This is my incentive to come to Brazil and to speak with the kids. How do you feel uh, being outside the United States, signed so many years to Brazil and then come back again? Oh, it's always a, pri a privilege to come back to Brazil. Uh, one of the things when I'm in Brazil and I talk to the kids and adults, I always say I've been to 15 countries. But the thing about Brazil I like the most, the people in Brazil have the kindest hearts in all of the world. And every time I come here, they treat me so well. Uh, it's really humbling to be treated so well. Any plan, any, any thought about moving to Brazil? Uh, not really. <laughs> I don't speak Portuguese, so this is an obstacle. I really love Florida. I love the beaches. I love the hot weather. Uh, I, America's big. It's like Brazil. You can go many different places and see many different things. I choose Florida because I love the beach. I love the hot weather. So if I came to Brazil, it would definitely be somewhere where it's hot all the time. You have done some speech already today. Yes. So what was the, the kids expectation when you spoke to them? I don't know their expectations. You know, sometimes they build me up so much that that they, they think maybe I should come in on a spaceship or I should be floating or something. I try to come in and talk to the kids and let them look. Look, I'm just like you. I struggled in school. I had many difficulties growing up and I overcame them. And so can you. When you, are, you start to get interested in, in space? Uh, I was on the beach in Florida and I saw a shuttle launch. And when I saw the shuttle launch, I think, wow, that's really amazing. That kind of got me interested in space. A importância dessa palestra, desse trabalho que nós estamos fazendo na educação, é trazer para o estudante é, uma abertura maior, uma visão maior do que, que pode ser o futuro deles. Quando eles têm essa noção de que um, hoje um engenheiro da NASA, que era um aluno igual a eles, que às vezes não gostava de estudar, gostava de esporte, não gostava de estar na sala de aula, e hoje ele é um engenheiro formado, viajado, já viajou mais de 15 países, já teve 24 vezes no nosso país, no Brasil, e trazendo esse conteúdo, mostra para os nossos estudantes 
a importância da educação na vida deles. E abre o horizonte. Né? Antigamente nós dizíamos assim, o céu é o limite. E hoje nós queremos dizer, o espaço é o limite. Então, é, a importância desse trabalho é dar essa oportunidade para os nossos jovens, deles enxergarem e conhecer isso. A Kézia é uma aluna que se destacou no projeto. Hoje a gente premiou ela com um notebook para ela dar andamento a esse projeto e ela vai montar esse clubinho para motivar, incentivar os colegas de escola e do município a participar desse projeto. I always like three things when I talk to the kids. It's so important. I say these three things. Do your best, enjoy what you do, believe in yourself. You learn these three things, you'll never work, nothing will ever be hard, you'll have no stress, you have no pressure, you can enjoy your life and be very successful. Just those three things. Do your best, enjoy what you do, believe in yourself. De São Francisco de Tabapuana, Guto Siqueira, São Francisco TV.